Right lads, welcome to On The Bench LFC. In today's video, the main topic is going to be talking about James Milner and whether I believe that he should start against Spurs on Sunday. Can we get 25 likes on this video? It's my target for this one and you guys have been supporting the channel absolutely amazing. I just want to say a massive thank you to all my subscribers and all you new subscribers that are joining the channel. Welcome aboard. It means an absolute lot that you've chose to subscribe to the channel and yeah, I'd love to get your views on the future videos. So, let's talk about James Milner lads. So basically... What a game we had yesterday. 7-0 to Liverpool against Maribor. It was the... Liverpool hold the record now for home and away wins in uh, like in Europe. So we had that 8-0 win against Besiktas or whatever, however you say their name. And now we've got the away one as well. So that's quality on its own. But then Liverpool performed really well. And my man in a match, looking back at the highlights and looking at the stats, it's got to be James Milner. Does he start for me against Spurs on the weekend? Yes, he does. So that's just my analysis on that. But let's talk about some of the stats and why I think that James Milner performed so well and why he should start against Spurs. So basically, in the game last night, right, James Milner had 120 touches of the ball in that game, more than anyone else, right? So the fact that James Milner is on the ball more than anyone else just proves that the players have confidence to give him the ball and it shows James Milner's experience and his leadership on the pitch. The fact that he took the ball and took it into his own hands and dictated play just shows what Liverpool lack when we don't have a player of James Milner's ilk, if you know what I mean, on the pitch. But obviously, there was there, there's been a lot of talk about James Milner and that he should replace Henderson and that Henderson shouldn't be our captain and things like that. So I'll touch on that as well in a minute. But some more of the stats from the game. James Milner had more crosses than anyone else on the pitch. He had seven crosses. Four of those crosses were on target. They got to the player that he intended to, if you know what I mean. And only Coutinho created more chances in that game with six Chances created for Coutinho and free for James Milner. So in a game where we were very creative and that, James Milner being the second most creative player just shows the quality that he had in that game. And I don't think that it's just a one-off, guys. People are saying it's probably just a one-off. It'd do shit against Spurs or whatever. I don't think it is the case. I think James Milner needs to be utilised more, his experience and what he can bring to Liverpool. What I was majorly impressed with with James Milner yesterday, and I did speak about it in my match reaction video. If you didn't watch that yesterday, go over and watch that. I did it after the game yesterday, but you can check that out on the channel anyway. But what I was really impressed with is James Milner's link-up play and what he gave to us down that right flank. Too often this year, I've noticed that Liverpool have been really creative on the left flank, but not so much on the right. Obviously, we've got Salah on the right, but he likes to cut in and it often makes us a bit narrow when it comes to that right side. So what James Milner did was look to pass the ball into the middle and then push on to the right, receive the ball, do his little turns and that they like to do, like the Cruyff turns and that, and try and get a cross into the box, which looked really good for Liverpool yesterday. It meant that not only did we have the ability to cross the ball in from the left, but we had that on the right as well, which, considering we have been lacking that, I'm really happy to see that on the pitch for Liverpool. And the fact that James Milner is a man to do that, then that's absolutely quality. I think we do lack it down that side. Playing James Milner as that box-to-box -box right side in midfielder was quality, guys. Absolutely quality. I think he was ridiculously good in that role yesterday. Um, Jane, what James Milner gave to us last year was that left-back role. He did a job, didn't he, right? And he was good. And in this year, he hasn't hardly featured because now Evan Robertson in it has covered from Moreno. Moreno's been quality. Like Now we've got to start saying Moreno's been more consistent this year, which he is, in my opinion. So James Milner's not going to feature as a left-back now. And then when you look at it, that the midfield, even though we've had Lallana's out injured and stuff, now that Mane's injured, we're probably seeing more of James Milner. Why he's out? Because it means that, obviously, Coutinho's playing that left-wing role. But if Coutinho comes into the midfield, then it's hard for James Milner to get in there. Lilana looks like he's coming back in November, mid-November. So that would make it even harder. So I want to see how James Milner does at the moment. I want to see him feature more. And against Spurs on the weekend, yes, I think he's done enough to get into it. With that performance that he did yesterday, if James Milner doesn't get in against Spurs, then what has he got to do? You know, I'm a bit worried that if he doesn't get in after performances like that, that we lose him. He's 31 years old, so he's not a spring chicken anymore. But on the other hand, he's a player that Liverpool need. He's been there, he's done it. He's got the notches on his belt. So we need to be utilising James Milner in and around the team. Do I think you can compare James Milner to Henderson? No. They play two different roles, guys. It's as simple as that. Henson's being asked to play that holding midfielder. So when you look at the creative chances, I've read a stat that someone put up saying, oh my God, Milner needs to come in. Henson needs to go out. He's horrendous. Henderson and all that stuff. James Milner, this is a stat that he used, right? James Milner's created seven chances in 332 minutes. Henson's created 11 chances in 810 minutes. So Henson's not good enough and Milner needs to come in there. Henson's a holding midfielder, lads. It's a bottom line. Whether you like him or not, 
You can't compare two players. You can't compare a striker or a winger as such to a, a centre-back and say, but this winger creates more chances than this centre-back, so he's better than him. You can't do that. It doesn't work like that, you know. And I think you guys on my channel are not stupid and you do see that, you know. But for me, Henderson is learning that holding midfield role. Do I prefer Henderson to play a holding midfield role or do I prefer him to play attacking? I think I prefer him to play attacking. He's very disciplined in that holding midfield role, which is why we're seeing Henderson play there over Emre Chan more. But Emre Chan is a better holding midfielder. And the one thing that I liked about seeing Milner play as a box-to-box -box midfielder meant that Chan could play that holding midfield role, which he's doing really well recently, guys. I know there's a lot of talk about Chan and his contract extension and he might not be here next year, which I'm gutted about, really. I hope you don't go to a rival. But I want to see Chan play holding midfield more and Henson play as that box-to-box -box midfielder or Milner. Maybe Milner and Henson should rotate and Milner should feature more. I think the situation you got with Milner and Henson is very similar to what England had when we had Gerrard and Lampard in the team. It was that, for me, you couldn't play Gerrard and Lampard in the same England team. It just didn't work. And I think we've got a similar scenario with Henson and Milner. They're both very similar and I just don't think it works. I think you need a bit of balance in the team, which having Milner in midfield, the way he was attacking and creating chances, with Chan as a holding midfielder, we did look more balanced in that midfield role yesterday. So just something I noticed, guys, and it's something I wanted to bring up in this video, is that we do look more balanced having Milner in the midfield and Chan as, Chan as a holding midfielder. But does that mean that Henson should drop out. I'm not saying it is a case of that. I'm not one of those that think that Henson's absolutely rubbish. He does give it his all when he does play. Yes, there's been games that he's not been very good, but also there's been games where Henson's been the best player on the pitch. So at the moment, it's it's in the balance. It's a key talking point amongst Liverpool fans. And that's why I'm doing this video as well. But what I want to say is that you can't compare Henson to James Milner. Statistically wise, you could maybe try and compare their game, the way they play and that, but on the other hand, I don't really want to do that. All I want to say is that I don't think that both of them should play in a team at the same time. To keep the balance good, I think that one of them should play. I want to see Chan play the holding midfield role more and I want to see Henson pushed on further up the pitch because I don't think Henson is a defensive-minded player, but I think he's disciplined, so he's doing that role. You know, That's my views on it. Do I want to see Milner come in against Spurs? Yes, I bloody do. I want to know what your views are on it, guys. Do you think Milner's done enough to get into the team? Leave it in the comment section down below. If so, who does he replace for you? Is it Henson? Is it Wijnaldum? Is it Chan? Let me know what you think on it. I'm really interested on this one, guys. I really want to know what you guys think. But remember, guys, leave a thumbs up on the video. I'm going to be doing a shout out for a comment which was my favourite comment from the last video. I said I'd be doing it guys and I forgot in last night's video because I was so excited about the game. But this is my favourite comment lads and it is from John Doe the first. You've just started recently commenting on the channel I've noticed but this comment did crack me up. Typically late at night I like to cruise some porn sites. Deep search like. But not on this night, no. Tonight I'm going to watch the highlights of this match. 7-0 I was shocked. What a comment that was. John Doe the first. There's your shout out, mate. It was my favourite comment. Guys, if you want to get your comment featured, I will be doing it every time. So whatever you do comment, make sure it's worthwhile because I will be featuring it. If you want to be featured on the channel, I will be shouting it out in my next video. It doesn't have to be a funny comment like that one, guys. That just tickled me and it was my favourite comment. But it could be anything. If you've got something really important to say and it's a really good view, then I'll be using that as well. So just bear that in mind when you leave comments, guys. I've been on the bench, LFC. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Leave that thumbs up, guys. Take care. I'm out. You have a good evening, lads.